You wake up, drive 30 minutes to work as an employee at your 9 to 5, which you hate, and all you can think about at work is providing for your family, starting your business, moving it forward, changing the world, and in the process, living the life of freedom and fulfillment you've always imagined. This podcast helps you transition from employee to entrepreneur. My name is Bradley G. Smith, and welcome to the Keymaker Nation podcast. What's up, Keymakers? It's Bradley G. Smith, and I got another episode for you. Uh, just got done uh, with another day of work and headed home. And uh, specifically today, I was going to talk about sort of my weekend and uh, what went into my business over the weekend. And um, if you're like me and you're an entrepreneur, then you find yourself, and, and you also have a, a day job so you can support yourself and your family while you're trying to get things off the ground, um, then you might find yourself working a lot of late nights like I do. And um, so usually, typically my day consists of, uh, especially after I get off work, it consists of getting home and being with the wife and kids for, um, and until they go to bed, which is generally in the range of eight to 8.30. And so I'm freed up after that. And of course, um, you know, I still am sort of there and available for my wife, but I'm also working on uh, business related things. And for me, uh, as I'm trying to get this kicked off, I end up spending a lot of time uh, in the evenings until sometimes midnight or one or two o'clock in the morning. And sometimes if I admit just a little bit later, but um, that is uh, of course not ideal. So hopefully this is just for a period of time while I'm uh, trying to get this thing up and running. But um, I think I feel like I've been spinning my wheels a lot uh, up to this point in my uh, business slash entrepreneurial career. Um, and um, mainly because I think I've been spending my time working on a lot of the wrong things. I think I've got a good idea, I run with it, and then I get it about 80 to 90% of the way done and um, I don't finish it or there's a reason I don't finish it, I get blocked, something like that. Um, or I do finish it and I'm just not good at marketing it. Um, or, or I've chosen a product that's in the wrong market altogether, and uh, you know because I I had a good idea and I didn't you know um, spend the time to make sure the market would be ready for it or was asking for it. So, anyways, I'm at a good point right now, and uh, where where I'm at right now, if you're fo- if you're following me in my daily uh, podcast, which is um, I have just finished a course, and um, I am. Uh, currently uh, trying to launch a funnel related to that course and specifically my course is about uh, funnel building uh, with a specific piece of software and um, so I've done a course it's it entails uh, like six plus hours of content um, 38 ish videos probably adding or taking a couple of videos uh, alongside that and then also um, there's a there's a coaching call related to it. There's also a private user group uh, relate all related to this funnel. And so I've been working on getting this off the ground. And uh, my weekend specifically consisted of um, getting the landing page approved in Google Ads, formerly AdWords. And um, guys, I submitted my landing page for approval uh 16 times over the weekend and i finally got it approved on the 15th time and the 16th time was just me adding a little bit more back in that i took out um so basically this is um besides sort of catching up on what i i've been working on it's a little bit of a rant on the process for um getting something approved in google ads and i've i've, I've also experienced this a little bit with facebook as well but um, generally speaking, you read their guidelines, you try to abide by their guidelines, and then you submit your uh, best working copy. And um, generally what happens is if there's something about it they don't like, they'll uh, reject it. They'll basically come back disapproved. And um, you'll also get some sort of uh, link to one of their specific guidelines that um, that they're uh, basically saying this doesn't meet this particular guideline. and so. Um, so yeah, I, they, I submitted my landing page 
and um, they rejected it and it was related to a trademark term which you're allowed to use trademark terms in Google ads as long as you do it a specific way some trademark terms are completely off the table but um, so I you know I, I updated my landing page and my ad copy resubmitted and then I kept getting the same exact message for rejection which was uh, misleading content and that didn't make a lot of sense I could not figure it out I literally ended up reworking my entire page almost all 13 or 14 times until I got it approved on the 15th time and so I ended up removing a lot of the original content I think a lot of the original pop that made uh, my page what it, what I thought it was gonna be and so now I'm going back in and adding um, the elements that I, I um, ended up taking out because I was trying to meet the guidelines and um, my final my final edit that brought it back into approval uh, status was um, in, into approved status was uh, the URL had to change so I guess the URL was a little bit misleading with the way I had it worded and so I changed the URL and um, that finally got it approved and my goodness I literally thought I was gonna have to take my entire funnel and move it to a different domain and uh, this was literally a last-ditch effort to see if I could prevent having to do that and thank goodness it went through um, so yeah I mean 15 rejections I, I literally on the 14th rejection I stopped and um, that was Friday night and then Saturday I was busy all day with my uh, daughter's first first birthday Woohoo! she's one and um, so I didn't get any chance to work. I was wiped out after Saturday. I fell asleep early and uh, all the way into, into Sunday. And then Sunday evening, I got back on it. I made one change, submitted it, and it got approved. So, um, so yeah, I guess for today, um, what's the take home really? Um, what, what would have happened for me if I would have just quit right there and said, I can't do it, I can't get it past this approval process? Um, well, you know, I could, have, I could have ended right there. And so my question for you is like, um, what is it? What's the one thing that you need to do to keep, to keep moving your business forward and you feel like there's nothing that you can do to get it right and you're about to quit? My, my, um, my recommendation to you is just keep pushing, push through it. I heard a, I heard a podcast today from Russell Brunson that said, stop stopping. And if I would have just kept stopping, if I would have stopped when I got my 14th disapproval, I would have never gotten it approved. And so for me, it was a big deal because all I could think of was, man, I've spent so much time building this one funnel. And if I can't drive traffic to it, then I, I don't know what my, I don't know what my model is going to be. So, um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a breakthrough. Uh, as I mentioned, I've got a minimum viable funnel in place and now I just uh, can keep adding to this one funnel until I feel like uh, you know the email copy is good and the re retargeting is good for it uh, with Google Ads and eventually Facebook and uh, hopefully that will start generating some revenue and some sales and uh, if I get those I'll share them with you so uh, so yeah that's it for today's episode guys and I will catch you guys soon hey guys don't forget to join me in the Keymaker Nation private Facebook group if you're listening to the podcast via iTunes please rate and review and if you're listening via YouTube don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and as always thanks for listening